Hi everyone, it's Shannon. And today we're gonna to be doing a grocery haul from um, Wegmans, which is a store near me. And if you're new to this channel, um, we are a homeschooling family of seven. So we do spend a lot of time at home and a lot of time in the kitchen making meals and making meals together. So hopefully you will enjoy watching um, the things that we get and um, just watching this haul. So these are the things that I picked up at Wegmans today. I did get a lot of meat, it looks like. So the first thing I picked up here is the sirloin roast. We are having a birthday party for my 18 year old this week and we have the seven of us minus my son who's in college and then my mom and dad and my mother-in-law. So there's gonna be a lot of people, but this was $8.49 a pound. It's more than I like to normally spend, but I wanted to get something nice to go along with the prime rib. We have a kind of cool situation where my, we live in the country and we have like basically a big field and then my mother lives right next door across the field and then my mother-in-law lives right next to her. So we kind of have all of us together. And I thought that prime rib I got does not look big enough to feed us all. So I got that. Then we get this chuck roast because I'm going to be making um, a beef stew, which my dad really likes. And so does my family. I got these pork chops. Told you I got a lot of meat here. Um, so for you big families out there, you guys are probably all understanding how it is when you have to buy so much meat. This is uh, $2.49 a pound, so that was pretty good. Um, that's just going to feed basically us each one <laughs> pork chops. I probably should have got more. Um, chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We get these for $2.69 a pound. I got some heavy cream. My daughters are, are trading off making meals. And so we, sh I picked up this heavy cream because she said one of her favorite meals she wants to make is chicken Alfredo. So I don't know if you love chicken Alfredo, but we do, and she's gonna make that. So, and then I got a 2% milk. I got this package of flounder, which is a nice mild fish. It's frozen, but it said wild caught, which is supposed to be healthier. So we really like fish, but it's so expensive. We don't eat it enough. Then I got this 80% ground beef at Wegmans. I really like the way um, it's $3.49 a pound. Ground beef has gone up so much. And this is a little over five pounds. So I probably could have bought multiple packs of that, but I only got one. And then I got a two big packs of chicken breasts and they're really good deals at Wegmans. They're at $1.99 a pound. So, and they're really nice quality. And then I got this package of pork Italian sausage and they're $3.99 a pound. Again, they're good quality. I like all of their meats at Wegmans. I don't tend to buy the beef like this much at Wegmans because it is really pricey but probably it is pretty much everywhere. I think even at Walmart now, it's pricey. I got a big pack of Brussels sprouts. Does your family like Brussels sprouts? My kids grew up with the garden and eating lots of vegetables, and they love Brussels sprouts. I think the best way to do them is, um, we do them in a saute pan with just putting a little bit of olive oil, and I cut them in half, and I don't wash them if they're already washed. See, this says washed and ready to use. So I'll trim off the little ends and just cut them in half and put them into the hot skillet with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. And they're so good that way. Like my kids almost fight over Brussels sprouts. Isn't that crazy? So then we got some baby Bella mushrooms. That's another thing our family loves, mushrooms. And I know mushrooms are a very big dividing thing in families. Like so many people from my church will say, you know, I don't want anything with mushrooms in it. But some people just love mushrooms. And we're one of the mushroom loving people. I got two bags of white potatoes, five pound bags. These are always a great deal at Wegmans. I feel like they're literally like $2.49 or $2.99 a bag. Two of these big mangoes. 
My kids love mangoes. They won't last at all. A red pepper, red bell pepper. Two bags of mini carrots. I'm gonna use this in a stew and maybe just for snacking. A huge four or five pound bag of carrots because we're just running low on those and that's the kind of thing you just always have to have, right? And one parsnip, I'm gonna put dice that up into the stew. And a cantaloupe. Cantaloupes are just cheap and I love, we love having fresh fruit and vegetables and stuff. There's two um, 18 pack or 18 count um, packages of eggs. And I told you before, we do a lot of eggs in the morning as quick breakfast. And I got some, but lately I've been getting some fresh herbs because my son, this is Sage. My son, who's 18, he likes to cook things on the stove and try things out. And this is thyme. And one thing he tries to do is he'll put just chicken breasts in the pan and butter baste it with some herbs and some garlic in there. And it's so yummy. He realized how yummy that is. And once in a while he'll do that just on his own because... You know, sometimes even the meals you make aren't enough, right, for growing teenagers. I got this, it says coriander, but basically it's fresh cilantro. And this pack of romaine hearts. I love salad, and I like to buy the romaine hearts and just take them out and dice it up. Dice one of them up and combine it with a little bit of something like this. This is French blend, blend, French blend salad. And it's got a lot of really nice, interesting, like, greens in it. So I'll use this for the bulk of the salad. Just cut it up one of these heads. And then kind of toss in maybe a third of the bag of this. So I make this last because obviously it's a little bit more expensive than, than the basic lettuce. And that way it gives you that feeling of having sort of a nicer salad. Then I got two packs of, no, one pack of sweet peas frozen and two packs of the cut green beans frozen just to go along with different meals I'm going to be making. And here I got some canned vegetables. We don't like a lot of vegetables canned, but corn is one of those ones we do like canned. I got four of these and again my 18 year old who's sort of kind of like a foodie a little bit, he um He's the one who makes the stuff with the fresh herbs, but he loves corn. So he wants to put corn in those saute pan with the chicken and the herbs just to have that as like a side dish for his thing. And then we got some cannellini beans, two cans of those and two cans of chili beans because I think I'm going to make chili sometime soon. And I got a can of this Better Than Bullion chicken. Do you use Better Than Bullion? Because I really love Better Than Bullion. I use it all the time. Just making sauces or if I don't have enough broth, you can just take a teaspoon of that and a cup of water and you got broth. Then I got a bag. I got this last time and it was really good. I've been eating it. I've been putting, um, just taking a fancy glass dish, putting some yogurt in it putting some of these frozen mixed berries on the yogurt and then putting some like Cool Whip on top. And it feels like you have this really nice dessert, but it's a lot healthier than eating like ice cream or something. And just make sure your yogurt isn't too sugary yogurt, right? And then I got two boxes of the fettuccine pasta. And it's for the chicken Alfredo that my daughter wants to make. I got a thing of this white panko breadcrumbs because we're out of it. We use panko a lot for different things. I just used some in meatloaf last um, night when I was making the meatloaf for breadcrumbs. And you can use it obviously to coat things. And then I got two of these grapefruit sparkling waters. These are the ones I talked about last time in my other haul you have to watch if you haven't seen it, um, where I went to Wegmans and we I raved about this because I love the Wegmans sparkling water. It's just a flavored water with carbonated fizziness to it and it has literally replaced pop out of our lives and including this one here this ginger sparkling water back here with the big um, one liter bottles 12 of them we love that we used to be big ginger ale drinkers and now we 
we just have been converted over to this. And then I've got some chocolate frosting. Okay, I know I could make my own, and I have made my own, but I also just like buying this can of frosting to use on a cake. And my son is turning 19 in a couple days, and I'm making him a birthday cake, probably just like a chocolate cake. He likes that a lot. And then I got one more. My son, my little eight-year-old, bought me this for Christmas, okay? But the one he got me, I don't know if it wasn't the brand name. I got the Scotch Bright, but it broke fairly quickly. But I remembered how much I like these where you put the soap in it. So I got another one. He said, Mom, you're going to have to buy a new one. Sorry, yours broke. And then I got a couple of replacement pads for that, too. So this is what we got today at Wegmans. And unfortunately, even though there's all this food, I know I'm going to have to be going back to the store fairly soon. I used to post a lot of monthly hauls, and lately I just haven't been doing the monthly hauls. I got to get back on a routine of doing that, but lately I've just been sort of doing it a, a couple of weeks at a time or here and there. But I think I was saving money more when I would just do it all at once. Okay, and so for my total today, it was two sixty-five fifty-four, and two sixty-five fifty-four is what I spent getting all this good food. It does seem like a lot of money though for all this, but I did get a lot of meat. So I really hope that you enjoyed watching today, and thank you so much for watching.